Android version 8.1 is the latest version of Android which was released to Google's Pixel devices almost a month back. And here we have finally on our Moto G3. This is the Pixel Experience custom ROM with Android Oreo Go Edition. During Google I.O. 2017, alongside the Android Oreo announcement, a Go Edition was also announced. This is essentially just a lighter version of Android to run on devices with very low end hardware and with very less amount of RAM and particularly for phones with 512MB of RAM. This would help the OEMs to reduce their manufacturing cost and for us consumers it means a 2000 rupee phone with the latest version of Android. Sweet right? And even in our case this is a 3 year old device with Snapdragon 410 which isn't as powerful when compared to the latest chipsets. And in case you remember when Moto G3 was launched there was actually another 1GB RAM variant which most of you would have just ignored. But in case you were few of those people who bought that 1GB RAM variant, I think this one would make even more sense for you. So starting with the easter egg, we finally have the real Oreo easter egg and I think this should have been at the first place itself but anyways at least we have now. The day to day performance with this custom ROM was very snappy and the UI transitions were also very smooth. I'm not sure if this is the Android Go optimization or whatever. This ROM feels smooth AF. And just to mention, we still have the feature where the notification shortcut for music players dynamically change their colors, and this has been by far my most favorite feature of Android Oreo. But as you might know, there isn't anything perfect in this world and this also has few cons which I would like to mention first. Since this is a toned down version of Android which means a lot of features had to be taken away and unfortunately the first one was the split screen multitasking. The interface also looks kind of weird in my opinion but anyways it's just what you get. And another thing which I did not like about this ROM is that there aren't many customization options. Apart from the usual Moto gestures, I was not able to find any other customization options. Which means that there is no inbuilt network speed meter which I badly miss. For me personally, a screenshot quick tile is like the most essential thing and this unfortunately doesn't have that feature. In this lighter version of Android, we also don't have the notification dots feature. I'm not sure why this feature was taken away but this is all the sacrifices you need to make in order to experience the lighter version of Android. Anyways, these features aren't the most essential ones and the normal user wouldn't even notice the absence of these. Multitasking and RAM management was decent, but of course there were few crashes at times uh, which is completely unavoidable in a custom ROM. With that, we get to the good things about this ROM. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we have the latest version of Android that is Android 8.1 with of course our cute little octopus. But the real advantage is with the name itself, the Pixel Experience. The UI is almost similar to the ones you would find with the Pixel 2 lineup and honestly it looks amazing. Right from the UI transitions, the icon designs, it just proves its name the pixel experience and by the way the go apps doesn't come pre-installed i just wanted to try them but it was essentially just the web versions of the apps which just opened in the chrome browser i'm glad that they at least retained the quick shortcut feature which debuted last year with the new bit the next one is very simple but i'm not sure why this wasn't implemented all these years I think this is the perfect UI for shutdown and restart functions. Just another thing to mention, the bootloader also looks kinda cool. Another interesting change made to Android 8.1 was that the pull down shortcuts menu also changes its color dynamically to dark or lighter themes based on the wallpaper. So with all these. I think it has made justification for its name, the Pixel Experience. Under display settings, we also have the option to enable the ambient display. This can be invoked either by waving at the proximity sensor 
or when you pick up the device from the table. Wi-Fi hotspot works fine and no issues with that. And to answer the most common question, yes, 4G plus dual SIM works fine, I just said it, no issues with that. And also, LTE or voice over LTE works perfectly fine. I did make calls with that and actually the call quality was extraordinary. I mean, the audio quality was so damn high that I had to manually reduce it. I think it's so good. A major issue which I had with the ROM which I previously tested was the camera app. But luckily, that issue didn't return here. And even for this, I had to use a third party app called Footage Camera. It's available in the Play Store for free. You can download that. And with that app, the camera works absolutely fine. Now let's talk about the best thing about this ROM, the battery performance. And to be honest, I was surprised. It gave a screen on time of about three to three and a half hours on an average, but that isn't the main thing here. The standby drain was very, very minimal and I haven't seen such low standby drains in the recent times. And if this has got something to do with the Go Edition optimization, I think that would be the best thing about the Android Go phones. Because in a device like this, which actually has a very small battery, about 2400mAh, the standby drain also affects a lot. And for most people, I think battery life would be a higher priority when compared to even performance. So if you are not a heavy user and the features like split screen multitasking and picture in picture doesn't make any big difference to you, then I would strongly recommend you to go with this ROM because this by far has provided me the best battery backup that I've ever tested in any custom ROM. So that's pretty much all the pros and cons of this ROM and I would highly recommend this to anybody who wants a smooth but also a battery efficient ROM at the same time. So guys I'll leave the download links in the description down below so do check that and this ROM doesn't need a gapp file to be separately flashed and it's all in one package so please do make a note of that and if you've got any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section down below i'll try my level best to answer your queries so that's pretty much it for this custom rom review of the pixel experience android 8.1 go edition anyways guys i'll be flashing another rom very soon so in order to know how that performs just click the subscribe button and stay tuned. Until next time, this is Hariran from Gadgets Connector signing off. Peace out.